Hey, you can walk through. Hey, you can walk through. Inside the final five minutes now. And Nutmegs have the ball once more. Turner. Really good attacking play. And teammates to play it to. And he clears the danger. Can he convert? Tremendous block. Stevenson. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. Young. Well, not the pass he had in mind. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Yes, Derek, that's exactly the start you want. Yes, one or two players looked a little bit tired towards the end of the game, but that's to be expected. Overall, I thought it's a really good display. Just a couple of questions for you. No further questions, thanks.
Cameras trained on one man. Three goals in three games, a nightmare for opposing defenders. This is EA TV. Hello everyone, the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And our live coverage comes to you from League Two. This ought to be a thriller, Stuart. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game.
Nutmegs will begin the game this way. Well, the wide midfield players and the fullbacks need to have a good understanding here. If the midfield players tuck in, then the fullbacks need to get forward into the space they vacate, just to give them some attacking width. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And so the match is underway. Jason Lowe. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Lowe. Excellent passing. Morris. Brilliantly blocked. Well, they've lost the ball, and they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. And he takes on the shot. Superb stop. And now the delivery. Oh, tremendous header that time. But the goalkeeper was there. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, three goals in the last three games. He's in great form at the moment. And he's playing with confidence as well. Every chance he could add to that tally today. Sustained pressure and they have the ball now. It needs an accurate cross. Well, the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure. Well, time for a scoring update because things are changing. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for Swindon Town. They've scored the opener here with 15 minutes played. Entertaining stuff so far. Off the post and back in play. And a good tackle. It looks promising. Can he finish? And the keeper grabs it. Well, they're certainly getting closer. You just sense that the goal is coming. They're playing so well at the moment. Nutmegs couldn't hang on to it. Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Apologies for that. To recap, the hosts did score in that match, and they now hold a 1-0 lead. Well, it still could be dangerous. Threat over for now, it seems. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. And I think he'll be kicking himself, ruled offside. Well, his instinct should have told him he was offside there. He has to be more alert in the box. Josh Morris. Tom Elliott. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Mastery of the passing game. This looks promising. Can he open them up here? Oh, 
Losing possession. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. And the nutmegs could get in behind the defence. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Josh Morris. And he takes on the shot. There oh, it is! Man. The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. And Nutmegs restart the game. How will they react to this setback? Lund. Jason Lowe. Well, they know they need to stop him. Surely! Oh, and couldn't convert! Hammond. And snuffing out the danger. Can they create something from here? Not problematic for the keeper. Now he must favour the cross. Chance here. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day. It's superb scoring for him. Well, a second goal for them here. Well, that'll be a free kick. Not a good pass. As the stats show us, the visitors have had most of the play. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Not away completely. Well, they can keep possession now. Well, the situation has changed in one of the other games. Here's Alex Scott with the news. It's a goal for Colchester United. It's now 1-0. Could reduce the deficit. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Shot attempted, and fine goalkeeping. And now the delivery... Well, threat averted. And the whistle. So back in business and work to do for the nutmegs after a disappointing first half performance. Go, go.